Okay, welcome back to the workshop. This week we're going to bore out the cylinder. Um, I'm talking to you from the future, so I've already done it. Uh, what we're going to do is take this casting and clean it up and bore it out. So there's a few uh, problems along the way and some interesting fixtures, and I hope you find it interesting. Okay, this is the setup for the uh, cylinder. So we've done a bit of filing on the casting to get everything uh, as consistent as we can. We want to get a reference surface and I think the best place to start is this flat side here so we'll just deck that off and we'll have something to work from. So I've just put it in the vise on those two two bottom edges and I've squared it up as, as straight as I can so that these these sides here are vertical. some emery paper in here to give this a bit more friction this time and I've tightened it up a lot more and we'll see how we go it might take a lighter cut Beautiful finish. Just for good measure, I gave it a final clean up on the surface grinder. All right, well, we've got our cylinder cleaned up now. It's still quite a bit oversized. This face is, doesn't have much um, tolerance left, but the ends have got a bit. What we want to do is put a hole in here uh, in the middle. In order to figure out where the middle is accurately, my idea at the moment is to uh, take this bit of plate and machine it down so that it fits as closely as possible to that circle there so I can line it up. Um, basically just got to machine this down in the lathe so that it fits on top of here and then we can get to the next stage. So the first step uh, is to put a hole in there and uh, to make a bit of a make a bit of rod or something so I can screw that in and spin it and machine this down. I found a good chunk of 4140 and we're turning it down to 10 millimeters before we use the tailstock die holder to put a thread on it.
So this is the setup I've come up with to do the cylinder. Now we've got, we know those two sides are, are parallel. What we really want to do is to get things to be 90 degrees to that. So I've made this uh, piece of steel and I've uh, bolted this washer on the end and I've drilled the washer out uh, with, a, with the center drill. So a center will align in there. And I'll put that in there and I've made this washer which goes on the end here and we squash that down with a with a um, with a nut a nice big flange nut it's 10 mil we grab that hex bolt in the vise so it won't spin and then uh, we can line up this big washer here with the top of our cylinder get it so it's 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 nice and central with that outside of that. Once we've got that in the right position, nip that up, now we can give that a good gronk. Right, that looks good to me. So now what we have is uh, we've got a centre here and a centre here. And we could put that in the lathe and line it up between centres and then grip from here, actually grip from, 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 from here uh, with, with the vise, and I'll show you that now. I've got the vertical slide here with a vise bolted into it, a, a, a grinding vise. Now what I can do is put this cylinder into this vise and I'm using some uh, small pieces of sandpaper to give it a bit of grip, a bit of extra grip and I'm pushing down there on some parallels. So uh, what we do is we bring in, the bring in the centers like that. Tighten up the tail stock. Move forward that way. Tighten that up and now we're supported. Now we're perfectly aligned the center line of there is perfectly aligned with where we want it to be and now we can adjust this position of this vise so it's hard up against that front face there um, and it, it's I've got a bit of you can feel that play now and I can tighten this up by pushing this vise forward with the cross slide see I'll loosen that off I've got play I go forward like that I'm right on the money there now. Now I set my dial to zero here. This is this one can't move. That one's there. Now I can just push that jaw in, tighten it up with my fingers to take that out, give myself space to tighten up this jaw here. Give that a really good gronk. And now we bring that in. That's right, that's right. Now I'm in I'm in position. As long as nothing moves here, I know I'm I'm perfectly on centre. So what I can do is now take this part out. Undo this. Gently take out my alignment tool. Okay, and now we take our boring bar. We put that through. Put our boring bar through there. And before we, we want to put our drive dog. Over the end, Just slip that on the center. Now we're looking good. Now, what speed have we got? We've got low speed, we're not in back gears. Okay, 
Now this is the moment of truth. All right, let's speed. See what happens. It does not sound good. that in a bit more take a finer cut and the way this works if we tap that in and we can just push that a bit more yeah. this is like a little wedge flash in there. Um, I'm just not happy with with how it's working out on the lathe. I don't like the surface finish and I don't think it's straight. So I think I'm going to try it on the mill while I've still got a bit of space left to, uh, to experiment. And the first step of trying it on the mill is to make sure the head is absolutely trammed in as well as it can be. And I've got it, uh, I've got it right on zero there. And uh, if I come around here, I'm right on zero there too. I can't do much about the front and the back, but uh, I think maybe that's going to have to do. Okay, here's the new setup. We've got the, uh, the cylinder there on a couple of one, two, three blocks. And we've got it strapped down from the sides. And I've and I've indicated it in on the uh, on the hole we've just made in the in the lathe. Anyway, so we'll open that up a little bit more with the boring bar and see how we go. Okay, this is what I've ended up with as my final setup, and I've been doing a few test bores. I've, I've, I've built a new uh, boring bar for my boring head, 
and I made that as rigid as I possibly can and it's got a, a, carb, a carbide insert which is a, a very sharp aluminium uh, designed for aluminium insert and I've got my milling machine as slow as I can get it possibly to run and I'm just that's, this is how fast I'm going and I'm just uh, slowly feeding down making sure my gibs are nice and snug and we just we, we seem to be able to get away without any uh, it sounds like it's chattering but it's, it seems to be okay and we're getting quite a good surface finish Hopefully, there we go one cuts so we should be very close to being on the money now got a very nice surface finish all right we got there in the end there was a few dramas along the way but we've got our cylinder board uh, the next episode will be making a mandrel uh, and that'll be pretty interesting. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.